An end of lockouts for in-house CNA training is in sight. Canadian nursing home workers expected to reject a wage proposal. And opera helps improve cognitive function of dementia patients, the study finds. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I am Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 2nd, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Skilled nursing advocates are praising a renewed effort by U.S. lawmakers that would allow providers to reinstate certified nursing aid training programs at facilities that have been assessed significant monetary penalties during annual surveys. Representatives Dwight Evans, the Democrat from Pennsylvania, and Ron Estes, the Republican from Kansas, introduced the Nursing Home Workforce Quality Act, H.R. 4468, on Thursday. The legislation has been referred to the House Ways and Means and Energy and Commerce Committees. Currently, providers who are fined more than $10,000 during their annual surveys lose the ability to conduct CNA training for two, two full years, even if they fix the problem that caused the fine. The legislation would allow providers to resume in-house CNA training once they are compliant. Similar legislation, House Bill 1265, was also introduced earlier this year. The legislation aims to address a critical shortage of CNAs. Nearly 300 skilled nursing facilities had their training program suspended in 2017 due to the current law, preventing about 2,900 students from starting training programs. In Canada, officials expect nursing home workers seeking raises to reject a new wage proposal, even though the plan has yet to be presented to them. Canadian providers, much like their counterparts to the south, are struggling to adequately staff and pay skilled nursing staff. Blaine Higgs, government leader of New Brunswick province, expects to present a new wage proposal to the New Brunswick Association of Nursing Homes within the next two weeks. He said that this will be the final offer for the province that the province will propose. The union is seeking a 20% wage increase over four years for nursing home workers. Wage talks have been ongoing since 2016. The government, however, has pushed to limit wage increases to 1% a year due to limited funding. Sharon Teer, president of the New Brunswick Council of Nursing Home Unions, said it's unfortunate that Higgs believes the proposal is something workers won't like and speculated whether even offering a new proposal would be a, quote, waste of time. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. Playing opera music could serve as an effective therapy for seniors diagnosed with dementia, researchers say. Chinese investigators found that playing traditional opera music for older dementia patients helped reduce their behavioral and psychiatric symptoms of the disease when compared to patients who weren't given the musical therapy. They also concluded the music would serve as an effective therapy for improving the cognitive function of patients and enhance their quality of life. The study was conducted over a period of 12 weeks and evaluated the effectiveness of Chinese traditional opera intervention on seniors with dementia. The findings were published last week in Geriatric Nursing. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.